to start the ball game. Well, from the time you're a little leaguer, you're taught to hustle out of the box and give it a full sprint through the base, regardless of how you hit it. And he didn't make great contact, but the effort was there, and he earns the base hit. Here's Cattell Marte. He's going. Run around the goal. And that one hit to first. And he takes it himself for the out. Batting third. The left field. Gurriel. Here's Lourdes Gurriel Jr. Singy, he's got a history of coming through in the big spots. I know I like to talk about I'm not sure whether clutch actually exists, but you look at the numbers, and this guy always seems to deliver in no spots. The next pitch misses, and that's ball two. Well, I think it's the ability to assess the situation, understanding what the pitcher has, what he's trying to get people out on, and then being able to use the entire field. Kershaw, the 2-1. Swing and a pop-up. Rojas under it. Pulls it down, and there's two gone. And now it's Christian Walker. The first Singing you can't ask for anything Christian. more. This guy checks all the boxes offensively. He's the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the afternoon the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game. I tell you what, his teammates feed off of the leadership that he shows on and off the field. And that's ball four. I don't think he really wanted to pitch to him right there anyhow. That is it. The third base is number three. Now it's Evan Longoria's turn. Longoria. The 1-1. One, one. And that's outside. Well, with this many pitches thrown here in this first inning, I mean, you're giving the other team a really good look. He's going to have to find a way to get some weak contact, maybe a swing and miss, get into that dugout, and hit the reset button. Two and one now, two aboard. Next offering misses down and away. Corbin Carroll on deck for Arizona. First inning and already up to 23 pitches. And there's ball four. Two walks in the first has to be some cause for concern. I mean, you're talking about a guy you want to pitch deep into the ball game. It's not going to help with the pitch count right there. They can't afford to hand out free bases at this rate. This is Corbin Carroll. Swing and a miss. And it's one and two. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. And he got him. Huge strike out there. He's in a tough spot, had to make a great pitch, did it, got the strikeout, gets out of the jam. Clearly, he's happy with those results. Back here at Dodger Stadium, and today's starter, Madison Bumgarner. He's racked up over 2,000 strikeouts in his career. He's such a competitor out in the mound. So fun to watch him work. I'm excited for this one. We go to the bottom of the first. Mookie now it's the better at outfielder, Mookie Betts. The right field. If you don't get ahead in the count, you can forget about having any success against him. Mad Bomb deals. Swings through that one. Way inside, gets out of the way. towards left center field. That's well struck. Thomas ranging back. Pulls it in on the warning track. Here comes Freddie Freeman up to hit. 
He's a left-handed batter who still comes up with good contact and a good average against left-handed pitchers. That catches the zone for a strike. Two and two. All right, so you hit lefty. What makes it so hard to face a left-handed pitcher? Left-handers, they just seem to have different arm angles. So to keep that front shoulder in there and really discipline yourself can be tough sometimes. But the guys that do it well, man, I tip my cap to them every day. The punch out there, two out. J.D. Martinez stands in. Two and one to J.D. Way out front for strike two. Kicks and deals. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. I think the key is arm action on the changeup. When you can sell it like a fastball, you drop the velocity, you get the swing and miss, and you walk off the field. Top of the second. Here's the shortstop at the play. Nick Ahmed. Nick Ahmed. The next offering misses. Two and two. That's a really good take right there. Slider down and in. Very difficult to get on the same plane and do anything with. Bounce back to the mound. Throw on to Freeman. Leadoff man retired here in the second. Now up next for Arizona, Gabriel Moreno. Why to kick the pitch? That nope. misses the zone. Now two Ball. balls and a strike. Ball. Swing and a foul. Pushed off to the right. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. The wind of the pitch. That misses. Three and two down. And it's ball four. He missed down low. Well, a breaking ball in that three two count kind of tells you that that's the pitch he has the most confidence in right now. Just couldn't find the strike zone. Alec Thomas now. Next offering is downstairs. And here it comes. Ground ball left side could be two. Rojas to second. Over to first. Safe. The bat at number one, designated hitter, Kyle Lewis. So back to the top of the Arizona lineup. Now here is Kyle Lewis. Reached on an infield single his first time. Now snap throw to first. Thomas dives back in safely. Thomas leads off first with two down to the inning. The kick and the pitch. Runner goes. Cut on and miss. Pro save. That's a stolen base. Looks like the base runner had a pretty good feel on the pitcher's move. After that pick over, seemed to settle in, and he took off right away. Nice job of stealing second right there. Now all leave it up. Thank you. 
struck him out swinging. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. One left for Arizona. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Back here in L.A., there's Max Muncy. That funky Muncy. 2014, a great year for Bumgarner. Not only did he win his third championship with the Giants, but in the postseason, he was the man. The NLCS and World Series MVP. Never forget that uh, appearance coming out of the bullpen against Kansas City and just going the distance. He was pitching on short rest. People wondered if he would enter that ball game or not. Man, he put the team on his shoulders. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with the 3-1 count. The 3-1 in for a strike, full count. Started after it, appeal to third, and Gary Simmons punches him out. That's a strikeout. Chris Taylor down. That one sizzling on its way through to the outfield. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. I really like that swing, man. He didn't just push it the other way through the infield. He drove it that way, and it kind of makes me think he was thinking opposite field as he stepped into the box. Got a pitch he liked, and he got it done. Miguel Vargas will hit next. And now the lefty started after it. Appeal to first. And he won around. Ruled a swing. And a ball and two strikes. Gets a piece and stays alive. Swings through it for the K. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. Here's the left fielder, Trace Thompson. Down the left field line, base hit. Taylor, round second on his way to third. Cut off, now a throw home. And he's in there. A run comes in in the play. Picks himself up an RBI. When you connect and it jumps off your bat like that, you're thinking double at the very least. Put a great swing on it, and man, he wasn't fooled at all. Miguel Rojas at the plate. Man at second. And that skips in the dirt. And he deals. Brown ball to the right side. Marte throws the first in time. They limit the damage here. Dodgers with a run scoring double. It's now 1-0. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Welcome back. Top half of the third inning. Cattell Marte up to the plate. This guy makes great contact, one of the best in the game at putting bat on ball. He's got such quick hands, and he's gaining pitch recognition. That keeps him square to the plate, and there's a good chance that his bat stays in the zone a long time, and that produces solid contact consistently. Freeman right there to make the grab. One down. Boy, that was a hanging breaking ball right there. I think he tried to do a little bit too much. Sometimes those eyes can get really big. I think his swing broke down as well, and that's what caused him to pop it up. Next offering is in for a strike. And that one missing low. One down, base is empty. Lifted in the air, out to left. Thompson makes the grab, and there's two gone. Now batting. 
the first base Christian. Christian Walker stands in now for the Diamondbacks. Worked a walk at his first trip to the plate. But you won. And a swing and a miss. <laughs> Tried to check his swing there. Now it appealed to first. And he went, says Larry Bullard. Diamondbacks down quickly. They still trail 1-0. And welcome back. And now the veteran catcher, Austin Barnes. The catcher, Austin. The Giants made Madison Bumgarner the 10th overall pick in the draft out of high school when they took him in 2007. And then there was the development. And, of course, he helped them win World Series titles in 2010, 2012, and then that monster performance against the Royals in 2014. Next pitch is outside. Boog, you want to talk about tasting success early. Three World Series titles before it even had five full seasons in the big leagues. I mean, they're great players that have played this game a long time and have never gotten to the fall classic. 3-2. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. Makes the catch, and there's one gone. Up next, the right, the right field. field. Mookie. Here's Mookie now. He flied out to the warning track in his first trip. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. And the pitch is in for a strike. And the count one and two. And he grounds one back up the middle. Marte, jump throw. Awesome play there. The first base is number five. Freddie Freeman. Two outs, base is empty. Now here is Freddie Freeman. So now one and two. Two strikes. in the air left field and it drops in and that gives JD Martinez a chance to hit with two out the center fielder number 28 JD and Martinez went down on strikes his first time through swing and a miss struck him out third out so the Dodgers leave one but they lead it one to nothing Back here at Chavez Ravine, down the third baseman, Evan Longoria. Evan Longoria. Here's a 1 1. Fought off foul. Well, these Diamondbacks do a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way. And I'm seeing very patient at bats out of them. They've worked three walks already, so that proves they're not anxious up there. They're sticking to their game plan, and it's working. Kicks and deals. Swing and a high fly ball in the air left field. That's back there. Gone! Evan Longoria blasts one out. His first homer of the year, and it ties it up. It's 1-1. With a low 90s fastball, you have to live on the edges and hit your spots. If you don't, you'll get hit hard. Really good swing there. Patient and waited for it. It was like BP all over again. Now the batter now, Corbin Carroll. Ground ball up the middle. Now the throw to first on the run. One away. That ground ball may have him back on track after the homer. Nick Ahmed. Nick Ahmed here to hit. Grounded out his first time.
Here's a 2 1. Turned on, but foul wide of third. The pitch. Ahmed checks his swing. Now it appealed to first. Did not go. And that one is lifted in the air. And puts the squeeze on it. That's out number two. The catch at number 14. Gabriel. And here's the catcher, Gabriel Moreno. He reached out a walk his first time. The wind of the pitch. Moreno started after it, tried to hold up. Now a look to first. No, he held back. That's ball four. Gosh, another walk in this one. Man, he is having some real issues with control. Man at first. Next to hit for Arizona, Alec Thomas. Left hand batter waits. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Slider misses outside. Got him swinging. And that is that. D backs get one on the solo jack. All even at one apiece. Bottom of the inning, leading off, go. Max Muncy. The designated hitter, Max Muncy. Here's the 2 2. Struck him out without a swing. Not sure about that call. Pitcher might have gotten a friendly strike three. Well, it's a nice job with the cutter right there. He didn't exactly catch the corner of the zone, but. That's one of those where the late movement probably fooled the umpire a little bit. Those guys do not have an easy job. I thought it was a good take overall. And, you know, it's one of those things where you leave it in the umpire's hands. You just don't know what the answer is going to be. And that time he lost. And now Chris Taylor. The pitch. Hey. Goes down looking. Back-to-back -back strikeouts to start the frame, and that's now three in a row. Yeah, he's really settling in and getting a feel for his pitches, throwing them where he wants to right now. So we'll see how long he can keep this streak going. Now it's the second baseman, Miguel Vargas. His first at bat was a strikeout. And delivers outside. In for a strike, and it's two and two. Generally, second, third time through the lineup, you want to be able to lean on those secondary pitches and command them. Looks like he's doing a nice job of it. On the ground to the left. Longoria to first. Out number three. Dodgers go down quietly. Score remains deadlocked at one. Back here at the ballpark, we go to the top of the fifth. And yeah, the batter now, Kyle Lewis. The pitch. And a swing and a miss. Activity in the bullpen for the Dodgers. Phil Bickford appears to be getting loose. Vesia warming up as well. One and two here. <laughs> Swings and misses, struck him out. 
Oh, there he gets the slider in on his hands, and it just eats him off. You know, it's hard to get the bat around on a pitch like that in tight. You just feel like you're crowded on the inside part of the plate. Can't get any extension. That's what he definitely should have laid off of. An outstanding hitter in Cattell Marte. Lined in the left center, base hit. Now back, left field. Man at first with one gone, and it's Lourdes Goriel Jr. The 1 1. Good eye right there. Marte at first, one gone. Swings and lines a base hit into left field. They get it in quickly. So first and second now, one out. Oh, just a nice job coming through in a pretty high leverage spot right there. Nice line drive to the pole side right there, but he didn't spin off of it. That's the key. You still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. A chance now to take the lead, and at this point in the game, that could be a deciding run. Here comes the skipper out of the dugout, and he's ready to make the move. Kershaw will depart, and not his finest start. Never really looked comfortable out there. We'll have a new pitcher on the mound when we get back. New pitcher for the Dodgers, Phil Bickford. Well, they didn't get much length out of their starter in this one, so they've got a lot of outs to eat up in that bullpen. I think they'll look for some length out of him right here if they can get it. Next up for the Diamondbacks, Christian Walker. A strikeout and a walk. And the right-hander deals. And strike two. One ball, two strikes. Runners at first and second with one gone. Got him swinging. Just indecisive in that at bat. He couldn't commit to the slider. Tried to sit in between. Just not able to put the bat on the ball. So first and second with two outs. Here's the third baseman, Evan Longoria. He's already homered here in this one. That one is absolutely belted. That's got a chance. And an automatic double as it hops the fence as a run scores on the play. Well, everyone is thinking it. Would the runner have scored from first if the ball stayed in the park? We'll never know, but they do get a run across with a chance to do more damage in the inning. Here's a speed threat, Corbin Carroll. Here's a 1-1. And that's through there for a strike. Pitch misses there, and that's ball two. Put good velocity in the head of the hitter. He's got to get it ready early and then change speeds. Keep him off balance. That's the goal. Two outs. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Righty to the plate. And that one almost got him. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. The pitch. Now fly ball to right center. Martinez has a beat on it. Makes the grab. That is the inning. But they push across one run on three hits, no errors, and one left. 
Last half of the fifth coming up. It's the Diamondbacks two and the Dodgers one. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And at the plate for the Dodgers, Trace Thompson. Here comes a pitch. The Diamondbacks with some movement in the pen. Dre Jamison, the hard-throwing righty, is up and loosening. Number 30, getting loose as well. Swing and a miss. That's a strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Well, he's on a great run of strikeouts and showing excellent control and command, not walking opposing batters. You know, this offense, they've got to find a way to break his rhythm, put the bat on the ball, maybe try to bunt for a base hit, get him off the mound, moving around, step out, something to interrupt his timing because he's coming right after these guys. Now it's the shortstop, Miguel Rojas. 0 for 1 so far. Rojas tries to hold up, appeal to first, and that's going to be ruled a swing. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Snuck the fastball by him. Pretty nasty cutter right there, and you're seeing that pitch, that location a lot more these days, and you can see why. Very difficult for hitters. I think the great Mariano Rivera can at least partially be credited for that thanks to the career he had with the cutter. It was just dominant. I tell you what, I felt like it was a moral victory whenever I could put that pitch in play. So I can feel for the guy right there walking back to the dugout. High fly ball out at a left center field. Guriel handles the chance, and that'll do it. Dodgers down in order, and they trail it here, two to one. Welcome back. Now at the Nick plate, Nick Ahmed. The shortstop, Nick Ahmed. Ground ball, Freddie Freeman. He takes it on his oh. own, and that's one out as they get the leadoff hitter in the sixth. Now batter, the catcher, Gabriel Moreno. And here is Gabriel Moreno. Righty delivers, and that one upstairs. Fouls one away and now three and two. Got it by him for the K. Came inside with that two strike fastball nicely and just bunched him up on the inside part of the plate. Couldn't get around on it and catch it out front. Many times if you do, it's a foul ball. And you know a lot of pitchers, they really don't like working inside with two strikes because they do not want to hit that batter. And when they've got him up against the ropes, got to figure out a way to put him away. Did a nice job right there. Battling here as he fouls it away. Two two down. And looking, that's a strikeout. Nothing across here this half. Top of the order due up in the home half of the sixth. It's the Diamondbacks two and the Dodgers one. They hand the ball over to a new arm, Dre Jamison. And this is an important part of this game. Tight score and still a lot of outs to get. So they're looking for a big outing out of them right here to get some critical outs. Now it's Mookie Betts. The one two. Runs it up to 96 to record the punch out. Freddie Freeman up to the dish. One for two. Freeman. 
Now a high fly ball out to left center. Thomas brings it in with a nice running grab. J.D. Martinez stands in. Who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. And the righty deals. Hard hit right side. Tosses to first. And Martinez is out. And the Dodgers are set down in order. Nothing doing for the Dodgers here. They're down two to one. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the map. Brustar Grotterol. Power slider guy, boo. He throws it hard and gets a lot of late movement, so it's tough to pick up. And now the DH, Kyle Lewis. One for three. Kyle Lewis. One, two now. That one missed. Still two and two after the foul ball. And a pitch. On the ground, right side. Steps on first for the out. Good arm side run to that same side hitter right there. Very difficult to put that ball in the air or get through it. Just bores in on the hands. Cattell Marte getting ready to hit. Well, both sides equally as strong. So not a good time to try to turn him around with a relief pitcher and put him on the other side of the plate. The one two. That's down and in. Action in the pen down there. Shelby Miller, the veteran right hander, appears to be loosening up. Two two on the way. Right side, hard hit. Throws to first. And that quickly two away. Now bad. The left field. Here's Guriel. Outfield deep here, trying to prevent anything over their heads. Now you get to this part of the order. Yeah, there's some pop there, but more likely there are some base hits. So very important to be patient. Let the pitcher walk you, if he will. Dives, but it kicks off his glove. The throw is still in time, and they do get the third out of the inning. Nothing doing for Arizona as they're unable to add to their 2-1 lead. Kyle Nelson comes on now. He's making his second appearance of the season. Now pitching for Arizona, number 24, Kyle Nelson. And now it's Max Muncy. A lot of times you're looking for a guy to get that tie and run on base, but because of the power, you want him to tie up the game with one swing here. Looking to get the tying run on base. And it is two and one. Activity in the Arizona bullpen. Kevin Ginkle up and throwing for manager Tori Lovello. The pitch. And a strike in there. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Well, big power guy right there and generating so much bat speed. It's hard to bring that to a halt once you've committed. They tried to check the swing, just couldn't do it. And the pitch. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Now that second base. And here is Miguel Vargas. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield should be an inning ending double play. 2 2 now. Foul off the plate. They'll do it again. 
with two strikes. May see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of a double play here. Runner takes off. Ball outside. And that's a stolen base, not even close. Well, it seems like 90 feet is such a big deal in a tight one-run game like this one. Maybe it's a little bit risky, but they felt good about it, and it paid off. Let's see if they can turn this into a big run. And a payoff pitch. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going with a single base runner because of all the power. They are dangerous to tie this thing up or take the lead. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Man, that's a tough one to take on the full count, but I guess he saw it really well. It's a really nice plate appearance. Now on the mound for the Diamondbacks, Miguel Castro. Well, the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect a tight lead late in the ball game. Some of them are just wired different, so we'll see what he's got here. Trace Thompson steps to the plate for the Dodgers. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. The 1 1. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. It's a big opportunity right here, but I love the way he's slowing the game down. He's shrinking his zone, making sure he gets the pitch that he wants to hit. Swing and a miss. And the count's even at two. So the tying run at second. High fly ball out towards left field. Guriel going back, racing back some more. Grabs it right up against the wall. Well, off the bat, I thought for sure it had enough to get out of here, but that wind's kind of blowing in from left, and I think that's what made the difference. So first and second with two outs. Stepping in, Miguel Rojas. And there's no doubt that they'll feed off the energy from this crowd, right? I mean, yeah, I'd say the intensity level has gone up a few notches for sure. Next offering is in for a strike. Good eye right there. Big spot. Two out. Both the tying and go-ahead runs are aboard. Next offering is down low. And now it's three and two. So both runners should be on the move here on the full count pitch. Yeah, this is a good chance to tie up this ball game. See if he can find some open grass in the outfield. He goes down looking. Nice work from the snake pen there. Eighth inning coming up. It's the Diamondbacks two and the Dodgers one. Back here in L.A., ready to begin the eighth. Here's the cleanup hitter for the Diamondbacks, Christian Walker. Here's a 1-1. Swing and a miss. One ball, two strikes. That one misses, and the count is even two and two. At the belt and fires. Fights it off, you'll see another. Ground ball, left side. Oh, and it hops over his head. He kind of rolled over on this pitch a little bit, but he got enough behind it to shoot it through for a knock. And we'll take that anytime you can get him to find a hole. And now it's going to be Evan Longoria. He's already homered in this game. And a pitch. That one just misses. see another payoff pitch kicks and fires and ball four to a board 
Not the start to this inning he was hoping for on the mound. Now he's going to have to really dial it up against the bottom part of this lineup to get out of this jam. Now it's the right fielder, Corbin Carroll. This guy has turned into a beast. No outs, runners at first and second. Next one misses, two and one. Right-handed reliever. Swinging a foul over the screen and back out of play. 2-2. Two -two. Knocks that one away and we'll do it again. Left-hand hitter waits. Struck him out looking. So the Dodgers have a new arm on the mound, Shelby Miller. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. Nick Ahmed stands in now for the Diamondbacks. Right-hander kicks, deals, and a count one and two. And now two and two. They tried to get him to go, chase the pitch down and away, but he wouldn't bite. Three, two now. Gabriel Moreno waiting to hit for the D-backs. And he deals. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. Walker at second. Longoria over at first, so one away. Grounder might be two. To second, pulls him off the bag. Now that, that's a potential double play ball hit to first is probably the toughest one to execute cleanly. That first baseman has got a very tough throwing lane to deal with because of the runner headed to second base. And a lot of times guys try to throw over or around the runner, which can really mess up a throw like that. Still definitely an error, though. Here's the catcher, Gabriel Moreno. He's all for one. Swing and a miss. One and two. In the infield at the corners. Don't be surprised to see them come home first and prevent that run from scoring. And a pitch. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. Movement in the bullpen. Caleb Ferguson looks to be getting ready for manager Dave Roberts. pitch in there sets him down on strikes he's got to be frustrated with that call well big strikeout right there and maybe a little controversial with the call and I think he got a little bit of favor on the mound no question about it it's not exactly what you want to see in a big spot like that and I'm sure there's some chirping going on from the dugout making it clear that wasn't his best call behind the plate today and now Alec Thomas next offering is in for a strike Base is loaded, two down. Next offering misses. The count now two and two. Gets a piece there, we'll do it again. The idea was right, looking to locate that fastball up and in. He just missed his spot a little bit. On the ground to first. Freeman fires to first. That's the third out. Diamondbacks leave them loaded. They lead it 2 1.
Here's a new pitcher from the pen, Kevin Ginkle. This is his third time out this year. Now pitching for Arizona, number 37, Kevin Ginkle. Dave Roberts turning to his bench for a new bat, Will Smith. And this is a big at bat in this ball game. The tying run at the plate. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. The high heat too much on that one. Pretty big strikeout right there to start this eighth inning. Down one. Any leadoff base runner really makes this inning a bit more interesting. But now this offense has to switch from possibly trying to manufacture a run to needing to run into something or just try to string multiple hits together to get a run across the plate. Here's Mookie to hit. Swung on. Belted. That's back there. And gone! He made him pay for that one, his second of the year, and we're starting over. It's 2-2. Listen to these fans. This place is absolutely buzzing right now. You can feel the energy all the way up here in our broadcast booth. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit. Spit on some other pitches in this at bat. Was very patient, and it paid off. Freddie Freeman steps to the plate for the Dodgers. The 2-2. Hard on the ground to first. And he handles it himself for the out. The center fielder, number 28, J.D. Now it's J.D. Martinez. He's a big, strong guy, can untie this game with one swing. Swings and misses. It's a ball and two strikes. The Diamondbacks with some movement in the pen. Zach Davies up and throwing for manager Tori Lovello. Chafin getting cranked up as well. Two down, nobody on. It's softly on the ground to third. Longoria slings it across, and Martinez is out. And that is that. Mookie Betts brings the noise on this home run. And we're deadlocked now at two apiece. So remaining in the game defensively, Will Smith. He takes over behind the plate to do the catching after entering the game as a pinch hitter. Here's the Diamondbacks leadoff hitter, Kyle Lewis. Kicks and deals. And he gets that fastball by him upstairs. Wow. Good luck catching up to that one. The one two. Stays alive. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. And he'll be beating himself up on the way back to the dugout. Got a pitch to hit and just couldn't get to it. I think that slider really caught way more of the plate than it was supposed to. And now it's the switch inning second baseman, Cattell Marte, known for his late inning heroics. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. Fly ball down the left field line. Thompson grabs it on the run. Up next to the the left now the left fielder, Lourdes Goriel Jr. Outfield deep here, trying to prevent anything over their heads. The 1-1. 
Guriel gets a piece. And now it's one and two. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. It's so hard to slow yourself down when you see that juicy breaking ball, but the most success happens when you try to take that right back up the middle approach. And it's even up. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Well, he got challenged with a good fastball right there. Just couldn't catch up. The pitch. And down on strikes goes Guriel. And good work there as he gets a 1-2-3. And the Diamondbacks down in order. And this game is still tied at 2-2. Two and two. Back here at Dodger Stadium. We head to the bottom of the ninth. Here comes Max Muncy. 1-1 one, one now. And that's in the dirt. Activity in the Arizona bullpen. Jeff Adams, the rookie left-hander, appears to be getting going. And a ground ball to first. Down the line, and it's foul. Left-hand batter waits. Pulls the string with the changeup. Struck him out. Chris Taylor steps to the plate for the Dodgers. The pitch. That one to first. Walker steps on the bag, and that quickly two away. And up next for Los Angeles, Miguel Vargas. The pitch. And a good eye there. All tied up here in the last half of inning number nine. And he takes a strike. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. And here it comes. Trace Thompson would be next. Big bat with a potentially huge opportunity. The right-hander gives up the two-out walk. Well, two-out walks are never good, especially when you're trying to get back into that dugout. But he's still in a good spot. He's just got to refocus and deal with the bottom of this order. So out of the pen for the Diamondbacks, Zach Davies. This is his first appearance of the season. And next for L.A., Trace Thompson. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Next pitch is inside, and now three and two. Miguel Rojas waiting for a turn at the plate. Two outs, but the winning run is at first. Davies throw to first. Back in there standing. On the ground, and it's just foul. That was close. And that one ripped into right. Carroll brings it in, and that is the inning. So they can't push across the winning run, and that means free baseball here this afternoon. Tenth inning coming up. We are tied 2-2. Yancy Almonte will take over here. 
number 38, Yinshi. And now the first baseman, Christian Walker. Listen, there's absolutely no reason to pitch to this guy right here. You nibble, you see if he'll expand his zone, but don't give him anything to hit. If you walk him, not a big deal. You have a double play opportunity set up. That Whoa, misses the zone. Yeah. Two balls and a strike. The Dodgers bullpen with some action. Caleb Ferguson, a lefty, looks to be getting himself ready. And that's a base hit. And they get it in quickly. First and third now with nobody out. So they hold the runner at third, wanting to play it safe. Think that comes back to bite him? Boy, it's hard to say. That runner on second to start extras is critical. And you want to make sure you don't waste him. If they don't score this inning, there'll be some second guessing for sure. A move being made at third. D-backs bringing on a pinch runner, Jake McCarthy. So up next, Evan Longoria. Ball to strike. The pitch. That's a little bit low. And yeah, there's a the strike. <laughs> Him out. Slider got him for strike three. So he needed a strike out there and he got it. And now we'll see how they play it defensively. Yeah, now they can move the middle infielders back a little bit, get into double play depth, and look for a ground ball and roll it up, get a big double play, get out of this inning. I tell you what, that was a big strikeout in a spot where they really needed one. And now Corbin Carroll bounced to third. The feed for one to first, not in time. Great effort there. I promise you, they're guys that get a little bit faster when they can smell an RBI. That was a possible inning ending double play. Great hustle, and he gets rewarded with the RBI because of it. Move to first. Carroll back on a dive. Ball on a strike. This one chopped on the ground, but foul. One, two. And misses inside. Smash to the left side. Third out, and that ends the frame. A run, a hit, and a man left. Last chance to even things up, we head to the bottom of inning number 10. It's the Diamondbacks three, and the Dodgers two. Your now into the ball game on defense, the Jake McCarthy. He'll be out in left field. Now so they turn to their closer, Jeff Adams. A chance at his first save of the year. And at the plate for the Dodgers, Miguel Rojas. Rips that one to right. Carroll makes the catch. One down. Well, such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter he faces. Just makes everything slow down a little bit, and then from there can really settle in. And up to the plate is Will Smith. 0 for 1. He struck out swinging last time. Knocks it down. These days, when you see a ball come off the bat like that, I mean, the first thing you want to know as a spectator, what was the exit velocity? 109 in this case. I mean, that's just impressive, and it's so cool we can get that sort of feedback so instantly in today's game. Now a huge at-bat in this game coming up. And 
And now it's Mookie Betts. He has, as they like to say, light tower power. Not a big guy, but a big swing. And thunder in that bat. Year in and year out, this guy an MVP candidate. and misses it's a strikeout good late cut for the strikeout there that thing really got in on him and you know the cutter isn't really a huge swing and miss pitch most of the time because it's not really meant to move a whole lot you're just trying to miss the big part of the barrel and maybe get some weak contact but that one right there did a whole lot more than that that was a really good pitch so they're down to their final out and up next for Los Angeles Freddie Freeman Strike two. It is just one strike away, and that'll load the bases. Now oh, that sets up a really big at bat in this game. These are the moments when everyone in the stadium gets really locked in. And here is. J.D. Martinez trying to deliver as the hero. Two outs. Both the tying and winning runs are on. Ripped on the ground a second. Throw to first. Ball game. And the Diamondbacks hold on to win a nail biter. Stranding the winning run on base. Well, this is a big win on the road and going extras into 10. Uh, so hard to pull those out, but I think this team did a great job of keeping the crowd out of the ball game late. When you can do that, it kind of calms everything down, keeps the adrenaline of the opposing team down a bit, and you can steal a win and get out of here happy.